So High Level just released some crazy updates and the first one is an absolute game changer. So stay tuned and build along with us. All right, guys, so I'm definitely not clickbaiting whatsoever, but literally the first one of the updates is all of our bots inside of Voice AI just got a massive upgrade. For all of you that don't know, High Level recently made a deal with Retail AI, which is a very advanced Voice AI system that's been out for quite some time. And what they did is they put the base understructure of the way Retail AI is made, and now we all have access to it. But it's kind of a hidden feature that is not released out to anybody yet, and it's actually going to help improve your bots, not only in quality, but also the voice selections, the way it answers and so forth and so on. And you're going to kind of see it as I kind of go in. So without further ado, let me jump into these crazy updates. The first update, like I mentioned, is a voice AI upgrade that again, you're going to have to do for every single bot and you're going to have to do it manually until they release a large wide update that's going to affect all the bots. But I got to be honest, we've made some switches internally and the bot interactions are a lot better. The voice quality is even better and it's just an overall enhanced experience. So the first thing you're going to do, you're going to go over for the people that have voice AI. And if you don't, make sure you watch one of the videos and create one because honestly, it's a game changer for your business if you have somebody answering your phones. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to settings. Inside of settings, you're going to go to voice AI. All right. So voice AI, oh, keep changing on me here. Voice AI right here, voice AI agents. You're going to go to your agent list and you're going to click on any of the voice AI agents you have. You're going to click on it and you're going to notice Lo and behold, upgrade to the new voice AI experience. When you click on it, you're gonna see this thing right here that says upgrade to the new voice AI experience, smarter call handling, which is very true, more responsive and natural conversations, better voice quality, better tone and clarity, and improved stability, fewer interruptions, smoother performance. And I can guarantee you that that is definitely gonna be the case because we have tried this in all of our bots and we've seen an improved quality in the way the bots are handling the calls. So all you gotta do is come in here, upgrade to new voice AI experience. There is no additional cost. And for instance, as you can see here, we only have these minimal conversations. Watch when I refresh the screen on the new upgraded version of the bot, just alone the different conversations I'm going to have. Now you got to really experience it and actually experience the old one to actually understand the difference, but just call your bot after you do the upgrade and you're going to see the different changes in here. So if you come in here and give it a quick little second, you're now going to see that lo and behold, look at all the selections you now have because now this base system is integrated with 11 labs and you're going to have very good quality voices on top of what they claim, which is going to be smoother transactions, better call quality and everything else. Go ahead and upgrade your bots. There is literally nothing that is going to charge you extra. And again, it's a really good upgrade. Do it with one of your bots, test it out, see if you like the new features, but I guarantee you it's going to be a massive upgrade from where you currently have now. And honestly, you don't have to really do anything else. It automatically upgrades it to the new system, but you got to do this for each individual bot. That's the number one. Number two is we have now got badges inside our membership area. A lot of us have been asking for it and now we have a way to have the badges and I'm gonna show you not only how to do it in an automation, but also at the same time where you can find them. So if you go into your membership area in your column on the left-hand side and go to memberships, Inside of memberships, you're gonna see credentials. Inside credentials, you will see the certification that you can do it, but look and behold, we now have issued badges and templates. So the first thing you gotta do is you gotta to go to create. You can now create a badge or create a certificate. If you hit create a badge, you could start from scratch or you can select the templates that they have in here. So any of the templates you design, so for instance, if I wanted to do this one, the gold one or this one right here, which is really nice, the purple, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna go ahead and I can change any of the wording in here and notice you can put custom values in here. So I could say congratulations or label it like, you know, instead of milestone achieved, I can just say master coder, you know what I'm saying? And have it really, really nice for everybody that I have. So master coder. And what you can do is you can go ahead and save it. You can actually send it to somebody individually in here. There's also elements that you can add, hard shapes, different colors and everything else. Bring in your own images and backgrounds, add headings, and then you can go ahead and save it and you can even take from one of the templates that are already created for you. You can also come out of here and if you go over to the bottom left-hand side and you go to settings, actually you don't even need to do that. Let me go back one and you go to automations. Let me show you how to issue one of these badges directly inside of an automation. So if I come in here and make believe I wanted to get somebody to basically get a badge whenever they complete an assignment, I'm gonna go over here to one of my automation folders and I'm gonna go to create a new workflow start from scratch, and let's make believe we want to award somebody like a badge after they complete a certain part of the course. So I can come in here under the new trigger, type in lesson complete, and on the lesson complete, I'll say what specific course and lesson it is. So product is any of the AM course, and then I can come in here for a specific lesson, 
come in category, is any of, get started category, and then the lesson, select the lesson from the dropdown, select any of, and then select the particular lesson one, let's say, and then I can come right in here, and if I type in the word certificate, you see that it said issue certificate? Well, now you can pick one of your badges, like new member badge or whatever badge you want, hit save action, and you can issue that badge directly through them, right through your automations. How cool is that? So that's number two. Number three, comes to a lot of the back end stuff that you got going on for your agency. There's a lot of really cool things that are about coming out that I want to tell you a little bit about. All right. So, hey, we want to interrupt this video for a quick little minute to just let you know that I hope you're enjoying this video. We want to thank you for being here. But more importantly, we are hoping that this content helps you do whatever you're trying to do inside a high level. We also want to let you know that you have options to get additional help. We offer a $197 a month VIP coaching program that includes four days of office hours, first come, first serve with Andy or myself, where we go in and we answer any of your questions that you might have live with the group setting for other people that are also working in high level. We also have a VIP group where we answer questions directly one-on-one -on -one with anybody posting in that group to give you the absolute best support. It also comes with a bunch of other features, including our funnel brick system, our little mini course, and more importantly, a couple guides that'll help you through this. And also including our SOP library that we use for pretty much everything inside of our agency. So thank you for this quick little minute, but more importantly, go back to the video, get whatever you need. And if you have any questions that we can answer inside the video, just drop a comment on the video and we'll make sure to answer whenever we get a chance. And now now back to the show. First and foremost, if you go into your agency side, inside your agency, if you go to settings and you go to labs, there are a couple things that are coming up that are going to be really beneficial for you and the people you're servicing. First, if you didn't know already, SEO, there has been a deal made with Search Atlas. Search Atlas is one of the biggest SEO AI companies that's out there. They do incredibly well. We're now going to be able to offer this service for our clients. If you want to have it readily available, it's going to be live in four days. Go ahead and turn this thing on and it will be available for all your clients. Google Business Profile Optimization is the next thing. It's going to be a long-term release. So this is definitely going to be in the beta. If you want to try it out, for some of your accounts, you can enable it right here and then you can actually put it onto the sub accounts that you wanna see fit, right? So I turned on both the SEO optimization for Google Business Profile, which a lot of our customers struggle with because it's never optimized to the best that it needs to be. Now you're gonna be able to offer a service directly inside a high level. Stay tuned for a video on how to do that as we kind of like go through it ourselves. But just if you wanna start messing around with it, you can. You now have the ability of doing also multi-pop support for funnels and websites. We are gonna turn this on for all sub accounts. So I'm gonna select all my sub accounts that I currently have. I'm gonna hit save. And now all this feature is going in and we're gonna go check it out right now. So if we go to one of our accounts right here, let's go to our test account. Inside of our test account, once you're in the account, you're gonna to go to sites, inside of sites. You're gonna come in here. And now when we go into the pages, right? So let's just go to any page that we see fit. We'll go into this one right here. We now can create multiple pop-ups with different goals. So I'm gonna click on this. And we're gonna go ahead and go to the pop-ups. All right, we're gonna hit edit. And right on the top navigation bar, you're gonna notice that we're gonna have the pop-up. So I'm gonna keep on pop-up settings. And notice we now have the exit pop. We can create a new pop and edit it. And we have the ability of, again, based on what we wanna do, we can put the pop-up in different positions, the left, the right, the middle. How cool is that, right? You can have a background image to them, and same thing as before. And you can also create different styles of pop-up and everything else. So for instance, I wanna put in a column, we're gonna put headline, and I'm just gonna call this newsletter. I'm gonna try something out. Again, this is in beta. We're definitely gonna experience some issues. I'm gonna create a little form, and the form, I don't think I have a newsletter form, but let's just try. Yeah, we do. Newsletter form, orange button. Okay, so our blue button, I don't know why I said that. And then the action builder is gonna to go to the next step, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. Now, if I come into the button, button action, and let's see if we can, they might not have this yet, but it'll be really cool, opens pop-up. And see, I can name the pop-up. So if I come back over to my pop-up settings, I can come in here and hit edit, go to pop-up settings with medium, the element name. I'm just gonna call this pop-up newsletter, okay? And I know this has been an ask for a lot of people for a long time. So I want this button to just do the pop-up. So I'm gonna go to the pop-up right here. Here's the button accent, link to open pop-up. And now I have the ability of selecting which pop-up I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And then I'm gonna have another pop-up and this pop-up is gonna be, we're gonna make it a little different. We're just gonna say bland <laughs> pop-up. All right, and then we're gonna just do a different form. So let's add a different form here. Bring over the form, select the form, and we're gonna say agency lead magnet, which looks a little different, right? It's got to get the $10,000 follow-up. I'm gonna make sure I name the pop-up, so go back to pop-up settings. This is gonna be pop-up agency form. And now we're gonna pick one all the way at the bottom 
right? So this one's gonna pop up the newsletter and this one is gonna pop up the agency. So I'm gonna go all the way down to pop up setting and look, it's already selected the agency form. Let's check this thing out. So I go into preview in here and we got different pop-ups. Look, newsletter, right? And if I go all the way down, agency. How cool is that? Now you have the ability of doing multiple pop-ups, but remember, you have to enable this on the agency lab side to make sure that all your people have access to it. All right, moving on. The next one is cancellation settings in our SaaS configurator. So the first thing you got to do is you go into your agency side, and this is only for the 497 plan for people that are running SaaS. You're going to go over to the SaaS configurator, go to cancellation settings. And in here, you're gonna give people different choices of why they're canceling, right? So when they go to cancel their membership, this will pop up. When it pops up, you can enable a counter offer. And again, this is not supported for V2 plan subscribers yet, but you can offer a usual discount for the month and you can even add more reasons if you wanna kind of collect why the person's canceling. And what you can do is you can do, let's say 25% off, you know, like for one month when they do it, and you can redirect to an external page if you wanna do that. So I went ahead and turned this on, and now whenever my customers go to cancel their services, they'll have the ability of getting the reason why they're gonna cancel, and then secondly, I'm gonna offer them a 25% off their next month so they can technically use it, and this coupon will be automatically applied to the actual account so they can receive 25% off. How cool is that, right? And then you just wanna make sure that you have allow clients, count admins of clients to cancel the subscription, so then when when they go into the billing and they want to cancel, this thing will work. Great way to retain clients. I think it's pretty darn cool. But again, just an awesome update to see how it goes through. And then last but not least, Rich Text Editor. I know it sounds kind of corny for a lot of people that are out there, but before we had to add elements like bullet points and quotes and everything else, now we'll have the ability of doing this with the Rich Text Editor. And I'm going to kind of show you how to do it. So if you come in here and you hit the little plus sign and you move over this Rich Text Element, wrong page because that's definitely a little darker than I want it to be. So I'm going to put it right underneath here. And now you see how you have quotes and bullet items and whatever else. If you wanted to say dog, cat, parrot, all right? And I wanted to make that a bullet list. I now can highlight this, put it in bullets without creating another element, which makes it a little bit easier. I want to add quotes, same exact thing. I am here, all right? You know, I want to make that quotes. I can come in here. And if you highlight this, you have the ability of making a block quote and now it's a quote. The other thing is if you, for all the coders out there, if you want to add specific code that you're sharing with your clients and you want to add like, you know, some scripts or whatever else, there's also the ability of saying, this is a script, you know, for code. And then what you can do, highlight this, come over here, and now you can add it as a code block. All right, and then people are able to copy that code block and whatever else. There's a lot of choices up here. As you can see, it's got the different kind of headers, paragraphs, and everything else. You have all this, but now you have this whole interchangeable thing that you can do that adds more things to one block versus you having to bring in other blocks and separating the text. For anybody that's been designing websites, it was a massive pain in the butt, and now you have the ability to do that. So again, awesome updates. You got a lot to go through, but these are some of the quickest updates that you have. And the first one is definitely a game changer along with the cancellation services. Those are two of my favorite. Let me know which ones are your favorites in the comments and I'll see you on the next one.